The first woman to serve the nation as Attorney General has passed away. Uh, Janet Reno has died due to complications from Parkinson's disease. Reno was 78 years old. She served nearly eight years under President Bill Clinton, growing into one of the most recognizable and divisive figures in his administration. I want to bring in Fox Senior Judicial Analyst Judge Andrew Napolitano. Reno was no stranger to controversy. Judge, good to see you. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, good morning. Us. No, uh, remember Janet Reno exercising a law that no longer exists but did then asked a three judge uh, federal appeals court to appoint a special prosecutor to investigate Bill Clinton. This was the, the beginning of many, many steps that resulted in his impeachment in the House of Representatives and his pleading guilty uh, to lying under oath. Remember, he did that shortly before he uh, left office, in the week before he left office. So you can't even mention all the special counsels that there were. There were so many of them, but probably the best known one and the one who extracted the guilty plea was Ken Starr. Well, I mean, look, what would she say today? Uh, to what's going on. Yesterday, the FBI, uh, FBI announcing that Hillary Clinton will not face criminal charges over the email scandal uh, following his review. Uh, even though 650,000 emails were found on Anthony Weiner's computer. Yesterday, Congressman Trey Gowdy joined me on, special, on, on uh, Sunday Morning Futures. We talked about the issue of a special prosecutor. Listen to this. Guess who picks the special prosecutor? The attorney general. So what I would love would be an attorney general who had the foresight and the respect for the justice system to say, you know what? We're going to have an independent woman or man. I'm going to stay out of it. I'm going to recuse myself totally. They can use a grand jury if they want to. That would restore people's trust and confidence in this investigation because the Department of Justice has lost it. Yes, there ought to be a special prosecutor, but there should have been a year ago. Yeah. So what about that, Judge? Well, I, I agree with him, and he is correct. The law now does not require the attorney general to go to a federal court. It requires the attorney general on his or her own to select an independent counsel, which uh, Loretta Lynch has done, but not in this case. Look, to Congressman Gowdy's point. The FBI is so compromised and so political. It was so wrong for James Comey to say on July 5th, no reasonable prosecutor would take the case. That's not a job for the FBI. The FBI's job is to amass evidence and give it to the Justice Department. It was so wrong for the Justice Department not to present anything to a grand jury. It was so wrong for Jim Comey 12 days ago to take a snapshot picture of the case and say, well, we think there might be something in Anthony Weiner's computer. We're not sure what it is, mm. so we're reopening the investigation. Did he clear her yesterday? Well, he shut down that, uh, that investigation, and properly so, but he shouldn't have opened it up 10 days ago, or he should have opened it up and not made the announcement 12 days before a, a campaign. Is she out of the clear? No, she's not out of the clear. She still faces two investigations. The Clinton Foundation investigation. Which is the bigger one. Correct. And the public corruption investigation. There's a point at which they intersect, but there are two different teams investigating her. The Clinton Foundation investigation is being investigated by the public corruption investigators and by the national security team mm -hmm. for fear that some of the favors conferred upon donors to the Clinton Foundation may have impaired national security. All this done to curry favor with the Secretary of State. But Judge, if she wins the White House, you, do you really believe that these, uh, these investigations continue in the days and, and months ahead? Because they ultimately, the FBI reports up through the Justice Department, Correct. it would be her Justice Department. Yes. Here's what I think. If, if Donald Trump wins, I think uh, President Obama will, uh, will pardon her. If she wins, she can... Can you be either. pardoned for something you aren't yet charged with? Yes. Recall the Nixon uh, pardon by President Ford. It was for any crimes he may have committed, okay. charged or uncharged. You can't be pardoned for, char for crimes you may commit in the future, but you, you can Obama be pardoned for anything you think Obama will pardon her done. even before charges are brought? As Ford That's did, incredible. As, as Ford did with Nixon, no, no charges had been pending against President Nixon when uh, former President Nixon and President po uh, Ford par uh, pardoned. Well, well, Look, wait, uh, she could, if she wins, she could that. pardon herself. There'd be tremendous political fallout, but it will be legally sound. But the investigation, if she wins as of tomorrow night, the investigations yeah, right. are over. Yeah. Can you say that? Uh, no, I don't, think, I don't think done. you can say that. The, the FBI team that is investigating her is very serious 
and does not want the investigation to go away because they believe they have something. They're not going to have something before uh, Election Day. As well, the House of Representatives is most likely to stay in the hands of the Republicans. You heard Congressman Chaffetz say they have enough investigations to go for two years. Now, they can't prosecute. They're the legislative branch, but they can expose, they can embarrass prosecutors into using the evidence that they've come up with. Judge, uh, yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, Judge, if you were offering any advice to the average citizen about this outrageous situation, uh, and, you, and average citizens wanted to help try to fix the corruption that is actually going on, what would you say? I don't know the answer to that, uh, Anthony, uh, except to say that the FBI has to stay out of politics. Eight months ago, James Comey had the best reputation for integrity amongst major law enforcement leaders in the United States of America. Today he's being mocked as J. Edgar Comey, mm. as if uh, to, to connote his most infamous uh, predecessor, precisely because he uh, has enter allowed the FBI to enter itself into a political race. Look, you got FBI agents friendly to Trump leaking to Rudy yeah. Giuliani. This is Rudy's own admission. Uh, you have FBI agents friendly to uh, Clinton leaking uh, to her people. The FBI shouldn't be, be leaking. Mm -hmm. They shouldn't be taking sides. They should be the pristine, neutral law enforcement entity of high fidelity to the Constitution that we all grew up thinking they were. How soon well, before we see massive resignations at the FBI? He's, he's definitely not going to stay there long. I mean, there must be so much tremendous pressure on Jim Comey. There must have been pressure for him to come out and say something, make a statement before the election. I think you're exactly correct, Maria. There was tremendous pressure on him from all across the board, not just the Democrats, to do something. Were we surprised by last night? Yes, but he, he did do something in an effort to turn the pressure off him. Resignations, I think the most important one will be his. And he's going to do it, I mm. bet. I, I, think. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, but the Wall How Street Journal. I just want to serve under Hillary Clinton or under Donald Trump. No I want to point out the Wall Street Journal, though, pointed out problems with James Comey when everybody else was singing his praises, and this is eight months ago, whether it was his pursuit of Frank Quattrone, the investment banker, yes. which was based on one single email, yes. and they went after him and went after him again. So he, he has some questionable decision-making in his past before he ever wound up at the FBI. Agreed. 